Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two One Two, and I'm with David Aston. What's up, David? Ah, oh, you just discovered my secret identity. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in shades. What's up, Jimmy? Hey, hey. So, what do you guys think that Aquaman passed a billion dollars in the box office? That People means... actually went to see it. Yes. <laughs> Billion it's like, dollars. It's like the superhero that, well, technically he can control all water. Right. So, and humans are what ninety three percent water. Well, that's so a good point. Technically, he can destroy a human, but he's never done it in the comic book. He's always just been based in the ocean. Right. And it's. A family guy did uh, a sketch where he's in the ocean yelling at someone who's mugging a woman. Hey, stop that. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Um, I'm surprised people went, actually were interested in seeing it. Hmm. I mean, I didn't get to see it yet. I've been busy. Um, I'll probably see it when it goes on video and DVD and Blu-ray and stuff. The, the the danger they have is writing the character and not make him like Prince Namor of Marvel comics. Ah. That came first. That came first. Prince Namor came first in the thirties. Well, they will be coming woke, aren't they? What 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 the what the hell does woke mean anyway? What woke? W o k e. That's a saying for like... It's discussion. some social justice wire crap. I don't know what it means. W-O-K-E, I never heard the word. Yeah. I have no idea. That's um, a lot of shite. Have you guys ever watched The Sopranos? Or no? no. Uh, yeah, back in the day, yeah. I never I never seen an episode. There's going to be a, a, a prequel movie, a new line, and it's going to star the guy from The, the Punisher, John Berthnall. Uh, he's also from Walking Dead, and it's going to have Vera from Egypt from The Conjuring in it as well. So, well, the original that, star died. Yeah, James Gandolfini. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a prequel. Um, before and that, these are the he actors. Was, um, he was just about to start breaking into Hollywood. Prove he actually proved he could do way more than just be, you know, the head of Sopranos. Yeah. And they said the characters from the, the, the series, because it's supposed to be a prequel, so um, ah. they'll make appearances, some of them, you know. Yeah. So Did that's... you ever see Woody Allen's Zelig? No. Well, what he, this was made in the 80s, and what he did was he was able to put himself into film footage of, say, Hitler and... And he had that technology in the 80s. Imagine what they could have done now. They could have actually used the original actor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they'll well, de-age him. They'll de-age the Sopranos <clears throat> for this. For this uh, it's like they did for Robert Downey Jr. in uh, one of the Avengers films when yeah. they had a flashback. Infinity War, right? Yeah. And he was with his father and mother, and it made him look like he looked back in the 80s, yeah, before he became famous. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, of course he was in, um, what's that film? Um, that, the two kids who make a perfect woman. Weird Science. Oh, oh yeah. Weird he was science. in that, wasn't he? Yeah. Kelly LeBrock. Yeah. Holy smokes. That Gordon was great. That goes back that. a few years. That was a great movie. You two both had hair back then. <laughs> I still have hair. I think. I don't know. Some people say it's a wig, even though it's not a wig. <laughs> so we got um, Pinocchio is going to be a live action movie from Disney. Because they're doing that lately. They're making um, all live action movies to their animation. Uh, it's look, it's not Playboy. Hmm. So we got Lady and the Tramp coming out. We got Pinocchio. You know, I'm waiting for when they're going to announce um, Snow White. When they're going to do that, because they'll probably do that too. 
you know. And also, uh, there's going to be a new Perry Mason movie, actually. Ah. Which Robert Downey yeah. Jr. is going to be in that as well. Actually, it's, 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 I'm sorry. It's not a movie. It's a um, limited series reboot on HBO. Ah. And Robert Ooh, wow. Downey Jr. is going to be in it. Um, well, that's going to cost them a little money. He yeah. got paid $18 million just to do the Marvel films. So that's going to be real good. For him. Oops, oops. Uh, West Side Story remake um, that's coming along with Steven Spielberg. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. So we got uh, 17-year-old newcomer Rachel Zegler scored the lead role as Maria in West Side Story. So we're going to show a picture of her. Here she is. I hope they give Rita Moreno a cameo at least. Mm. She's still alive. I know. It would be nice, right? She hasn't aged. She she looks 20, 30 years younger than she actually is. So she nice. could be in the movie. Not just a cameo. She could have a big role. Yeah. One of the sisters, one of the aunts. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. Uh, looks like Michael Bay is getting uh, another Turtles out. It's going to be, I'm not sure, but it's, it's probably going to be a third movie in the series of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So we knew that was happening because Michael Bay was going to make that happen. Michael Bay, who's Hitler, according to... No, he's not. Who said that? <laughs> uh, we have other box office news. Um... Kevin Hart's The Upside with Brian Cranston is number one, 21 million. What? And Aquaman's number two, and then A Dog's Way Home <laughs> is number three. Aquaman's two, man. Yeah. A movie that, to me, is like, no, <coughs> no one would have interest in is number two. Yeah, I mean, it's been bad. out for a long time. It's been out, it's out, it's been out for a while now. Um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse has been out for a while, too, and that's number four. That has... That's, a, that's, that's a fucking awesome film. $302 million for an animated film. That's pretty... DC you know. needs a success, except for the Batman trilogy. All their other films have flopped. Which they're going to try to attempt doing a Batman movie now, which we're not entirely sure if it's going to have Ben Affleck or not, but there is going to be another universe where there's going to be Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker, which is going to be in the 80s set. So it's going to be a different timeline than the one that's set with the DC universe. So that becomes popular. We'll have films coming from that universe. So there's Af that. Affleck is terrific as Batman. So yeah. I hope they get, I hope it's. Uh, I hope he does it right. He, he's, he's terrific as Batman and as Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I like that. Some that were good as Bruce Wayne, but not as Batman. Some that were good as Batman, but not as Bruce Wayne. He was good as both. Interesting you mentioned that. I seem to recall the other day, very briefly, reading that uh, Silent J and Bob was getting a reboot themselves. Yes, they are getting a reboot. Mm -hmm. Yes, although he doesn't have the rights to that anymore. I think they sold the rights, but they are going to be a part of that. They are filming right now. So, that's interesting. He doesn't have the rights to it himself. No more. I think he, he sold the rights a while ago, he said, but he's going to star in it. It's just like Paul McCartney not having the rights to the Beatles song. And here he is, the birthday boy. Well, yeah, yeah I'm elated, Happy but sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Happy birthday, dude. Thanks. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy you know what? Some people can make their birthday a week. Some people can make it a Why This Scott. Bum, 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 bum. That's right. There you go. Yeah, now my days, my week's completed. David asked and his wish me happy birthday. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> yeah. Now your life is complete. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, we got word about that alien. Thing is only a mobile game which nobody really cares about. Oh, yeah, wow. 
Whoop de doo, Basil. Yeah. Oh boy. Tap 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 tap. Swipe. Yeah, tap, yeah, tap, yeah. Tap, 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 swipe. I try to stay off my phone. You think I'm gonna get a, a game and start like oh, playing? Yeah. No. It's pro- it's probably gonna be like Candy Crush. You match three of these damn eggs and. <laughs> We were, we were talking to um, – I was talking to David Ass. We did a cast before with the Real Hoobians and uh, talking about how they said they ran out of money for Doctor Who. I guess they spent it on something else or something, and they're like, oops, we can't show it out this year. Sorry, guys. That's no. – well, they, they probably funded the uh, the alien, uh, alien Mobile game, and that's why they – That's embarrassing for the BBC to just not have yeah. money. And wait a minute. How could they have used up all that China money, though? They – See, that's the thing. I think they used it for something other than they're supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. And I think they, now they're caught because it's like, um, what are you talking about? The money was there. Mm-hmm. Plenty. Plenty of money was there every year. Get the hell out of here. So I don't want to hear anything. They caught. They never got money for the anybody. China, they did. They caught. They spent it for stupid shit. They I think their shareholders would like to know where they've footed away their money. They w- they solidified it's it. It's probably so. gone to the EU because we all know we can't say no to the EU. They're trying to tank Brexit, aren't they? I mean, it's but commissions. They're it's so all- pro-democratic. Dem- that's why they want to take away any democratic... Oh, sorry, we don't like this. We only want you to have your rights when it's the rights that we want you to have. Well, oh, it's weird how... It's commissioned to a certain year, and it's and all of a sudden the money's just not there. That's I find that very interesting. Then, uh, then well, somebody has to pay all the white stuff. That yeah. God. So Doctor Who is just going to be gone for a year, and that's unfortunate, especially mm-hmm. the stupid reasons behind it too. But anyway, we got Game of Thrones it's coming back. And sexist and gross, but I'm I'm going to keep it to my head. Game of Thrones is back. I haven't watched a single episode of Game no. of Thrones. Wow. Very popular. Not Just not interested uh, in it. Okay. What was that, David? I was, I was, well, he may not be interested in it, but I did see the um, teaser trailer they were, uh, early on, actually. Mm-hmm. And it basically has the stars going up the corridor, which is, I think, I think um, Sean Dean, A up. Yeah, hey, up. Yeah, the one who was shagging the Lord's Lady in that uh, show he did years ago. And it was under the castle type thing that he used to defeat the Mad King or whatever it was. Um, and they go past this statue and they go towards the statues of all the people who've been killed their mum, John Bean, so forth. And then it trans. And then it eventually it, 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 the statues become them essentially. Hmm. So is this suggesting that they're going to be killed off, or is it their potential fate that they have to avoid? I think that was just a teaser. It's not even really. I mean, we know that winter's coming. It's here. It's they're gonna have to deal with the ice dragons and everything else. So it's the end. Everybody's gonna die. Except for one person or two person. Probably going to be Jon Snow on the throne and everybody else is dead and there's nobody to rule over because everybody's dead. That's probably what it's going to be. But Winter has finally come. That's Winter right. has come. Yep. So um, it looks like Mary Poppins is getting another sequel. So I think this was in that series. So then there will be another Mary Poppins probably in three years. Same cast. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess that's good. I didn't even see the second one. Um, what else was there? There was also uh, word that... The, I didn't have to see Bird Box. Did anybody see that? Not yet. No. I still got to see that. People are talking about it. There's hints then, about, a, of course, a Turtles reba- reboot. It, it's actually the third movie. I don't think it's a reboot. It's a, like a third edition. Now, I, I have I, a question. Uh, David, did you see the Stan and Stan and Laurel movie? Yes, I did. Ah, well, is it worth seeing? Ah, oh, that film is absolutely worth seeing. It's a fantastically directed and made film. 
Stephen Coogan and his American Yank co-star um, is uh, they're just so spot on in the manner the trailer makes it look like I'm going to the movies I haven't been to the movies since Iron Man 3 when I treated my nephew I just wait for it to come to DVD but sense, this one, yeah. I'm gonna, the trailer yeah, made me think does. I'm going to go to the movies but you actually saw it and you recommended it so I'm going to go to the movies mm -hmm. uh, it, it is a fantastic film and yeah, I think this can be watched. It can be watched by fans. It can be watched by people who don't know who Lauren Hardy are. And uh, you know, it's set in the early fifties when mm -hmm. Albert and Costello were well, actually oddly enough, on their way to. They had some problems themselves as a partnership, historically, right. and uh, you know, it's rather. Disgusting, but two of the most the greatest comedy duo weren't allowed to make money from their own. They didn't make any money from reruns, so they yeah. were li they were literally living on fuck all. Pardon my language. Wow. But That's the up. attitude of theirs was that you know you had Ollie who was he knew full well as it's pointed out in the film that performing would literally kill him eventually. And he didn't stop because it's in his blood. Right. I don't stop despite relapse here, relapse there, because life is too important. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's all you need. Life, the people you love, like I love all of you and my family. And you are my family. Thank you, dude. Same here. So. Oh, stop crying. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else do we have to talk about? Let's see. So, yeah, see that film. It's a fantastic movie. Mm. And it, it, oh, God. It has plenty of scenes recreated. And Steve Coogan and Smith. Oh my God. I've, Smith has to be Oliver Hardy under all that latex. And he does such a fantastic job. And I mean, I saw him on Steve Coogan. Then I saw him in the film. And I didn't believe he was the same bloke. Yeah. Wow. And that's when a that's when you know an actor so is dressed, when he disappears when they disappear ah, into the character or into that makeup. That shows you that they. And I thought, it. generally thought, it was absolutely ludicrous having that those two cast originally. And I, I have right. to admit, this is one occasion. It's one occasion when I have to say I was completely wrong. Wow. Okay, that's big. So I give it a a cuckoo, a cuckoo eleven out of ten. Okay. I think the next movie I'm gonna go see is Glass, which uh. is a sequel to Unbreakable and Split, which was a really great performance <laughs> by James McAvoy and Bruce Willis was great with Samuel L. Jackson and Unbreakable. So. Yeah. Ah, they've all been in. Oh, of course. Uh, uh, Bruce right. Willis and uh, Samuel Jackson were in that film together, and right. then there was the the one from the X Men. Yeah, James McAvoy. First class, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and they've been basically brought together. So, yeah. in a weird way, it's like uh, if they did the X Men versus. Uh, it's like Jason versus Freddy. They yeah. took two for two things. X Men versus them. Avengers. Please, Disney, if you're asking, if you're yeah, watching this, ADX, make yeah. it happen. It will happen Billions eventually. Billions of dollars in it. After 2025, probably. But yeah, it's going to happen. Um, all right. I guess that's going to be it for the Everything Show. No, no real news with Doctor Who, unfortunately. But that's it for now. Maybe we'll come back later. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.